Welcome to Pillow Talk. This week was the premiere of Ben and Lauren's Happily Ever After spinoff of The Bachelor. This was ABC's first spinoff based on a specific couple. We're here now with USC Annenberg professor and my personal favorite, Mary Murphy, <laughs> to discuss reality TV's impact on society and the perception of relationships. Well, first of all, Hollywood loves spinoffs, okay? <laughs> and now we have 20 seasons of The Bachelor, only three couples have ever stayed together, 11 or 12 seasons of The Bachelorette, only four couples. So I'm sure this couple is going to stay together until the end of filming, but I have no idea if they'll stay together <laughs> through that. They're probably getting paid a lot of money. And, you know, it's just the thing about these reality shows is they're not reality. And that's where people get confused. They think, oh, this is how we can get together and have a romance. But so many of them break up, and they break up very publicly. So what is it that you think that makes them so popular? Why are people so intrigued with them if, if it isn't reality? Well, you know, first of all, I think people, um, there's a salacious quality to them. There's a lot of drama. There's a lot of family fighting. There is be their beautiful home, so it's like a look behind the scenes of beauty. And also in the, you know, like Survivor, there are alliances and then there are betrayals. So there's all this human emotion that, you know, say you're studying for midterms or exams, you know, hey, I want to escape. But the other thing that I worry about is the betrayal of women, because especially on the housewives. The women go after each other all the time. And I've spent my life, as so have most women, trying to get women to work together. So I think that is a very bad thing that we see on television. The Bachelor and similar dating shows are centered around one man or woman um, in a house full of potential matches that compete for a prize or the chance to date their love interest. Mm -hmm. So what do you think that this does for people and their expectations of dating and finding love? Uh, well, I think it sets a very unreal expectation. I mean, if I were locked in a room, you know, in a house with 10 women fighting over a man, I'd just say, that man is not worth it. Let's just go out and get out of here and, you know, we're better than that. But I don't know. It's the competition. Now, I love the competition on the on the scene, like The Voice or American Idol, because that's like kids sitting in a little choir in the middle of, the, you know, Tennessee, and they get to be on, on these shows and they become successful. This other kind of competition with women and men, as we've seen in some of the shows, gets really dirty and awful and ugly, and uh, people like it because they like to feel better than the people on those shows. And regardless of what people may think about reality TV, mm -hmm. the popularity in America is undeniable. Yeah. So do you see any changing in culture of reality TV? Like, are there, is there anything new up and coming that people may not know about yet that they may see yeah. within the next year or so? Absolutely. Well, well besides the fact that a reality star is running for, tel uh, for president of the United States. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, but what's <laughs> happened is once the jinx aired on HBO, and then the making of murder on Netflix, right. people decided that true crime would be the way for reality to go. So you're going to see a lot more true crime. And if you've noticed just recently, you know, the O.J. Simpson, they had the drama, then they had the documentary. Mm -hmm. And now there have been five John Benet Ramsey true crime reality shows. And there's going to be a Lifetime movie. So true crime is what you're going to see. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. And Robin China is actually a new show about the new Kardashian couple preparing for their baby and the wedding if they mm -hmm. decide to have it. I think um, the Kardashian show, this show, a lot, there's a lot of dysfunctionality there. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> what do you think, is that important to our culture to show another side of reality TV that everything isn't just fantasy or do you think it's harmful to the culture? Well, I, first of all, I think it's why the, they like the, the Kardashians. I mean, remember, Bruce Jenner became Caitlyn Jenner, mm -hmm. and then these two people, who one used to date the other, and it's it's just the craziness. But I actually think what happened to Kim Kardashian through her social media and her TV show is going to change how the Kardashians relate to people because suddenly there's been a crime. A gun was held to this woman's head. And I am not sure that she's ever going to expose herself the way. And, I don't, and Rob in, in uh, China... Their show, maybe a season. I, honestly, I can't see it going past whatever, the baby being born. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so, so thank much so for much. joining us thank today. You. It's been a pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> well, that's all we have for Pillow Talk. Follow us on Twitter at USC The Buzz and make sure to catch the show on our Facebook page. Thanks for watching The Buzz. We'll see you next week.